Hello everyone. For today's course, we're gonna learn the basic knowledge about how to set your object on different layers in Rhino. Now let's get started. First, look at the right side. Is here the little buttons here. The first one is property. The second one is layer. Is look like a piece of pizza. If you don't do anything related to the layer setting. All the objects will be automatically put on the default layer. And in the shaders viewport, uh, even though the default color, the system setup is the black, but in the shaded viewport, you will automatically show in the light gray color. Now, how to put the object on a different color? Uh, layer like if I want to put the first box on the layer 1 the color of the layer 1 is red so how I put this box on the layer 1 the first method is click here the standard tool set click here and change object layer now I can change to click layer 1 now once you put the first object um, the layer one, it will be all shaded in a red color. Now the same, if I want to put a second box on the layer two, actually you can change the color, any any kind of color you want, like double click, like change the yellow. Yeah. If I click here, do the same thing, change layer two. Now it will turn into a yellow box. Or there's another way. If I double click the layer 3, the layer 3's color is blue, dark blue. When this icon change to the layer 3, now right click, select object. Now click the third box and type enter now it will automatically become the blue box or we can set in another way now double click the fourth layer which is the color is green now click the fourth box now go to the standard to set now go to change objects to current layer now we, so pretty much you can get the same result now I will explain the sublayer tool. Like the last two box, if I go to the layer five, now I change the color to uh, the light purple. Okay, I set these two box all together into this layer. Okay. Now if I create a sub -layer. Now we have set up the sub -layer, which is layer 6. Now the layer 6 is under command by the layer 5, which means when there's any change about the layer 5, it will be changed at the same time of the layer 6. But there, if there are any change about the layer 6, there is no any influence about the layer 5. Now what does that mean? If I change the color of the layer 6, OK. Now I go to layer 6. I change this object to layer 6. If I hit it, the layer 6 or uh, layer 5, So the objects on layer 5 and 6 will be hidden all together. Like if I just hidden the layer 6, it has nothing to do with the object on layer 5 because the layer 5 is on the priority positions than the layer 6. Now let's look at the material section. If I go there about uh, this yellow box 
click here. Uh, the default material setting is plaster. If I change to the mental, I give it to a color. Okay, is it won't show anything in the modeling view. If we go to the render move, I go there. Now you will see the material has been changed. Now the same for this one. The same. This one is on layer five. So I go there. We go to paint and give it a color. This color. Let's do it again. Let's do the paint. Okay. Now the material has been changed as well. Go back to the modeling view. Now, let's look at the light type. If go to the default, go back to the default layer. The light type is continuous. So, so if I want to draw a line here, it will be a continuous line. So if I change to the dash line, now the light type has been changed, but we go to another layer. Once we draw a line, it still will be show a continuous line because the line type hasn't been changed. Okay, that will be all for the knowledge about how to setting up your object on different layer and all the properties of the layer setting has been explained. Thanks for watching.